Developing news tonight in that nearly week-long blockade at the Ambassador Bridge. It's a critical international economic link between Detroit, Michigan and Windsor, Canada. Protests again tonight, as you can see, underway in Windsor and in Ottawa, even after a Canadian judge ordered them to clear the roadway or face the possibility of arrest. And that bridge is a key route between the U.S. and Canada and accounts for about 25% of trade in North America. News Nation correspondent Kelsey Kernstein joins us live tonight from Lansing, Michigan. And, and Kelsey, that bridge as of tonight remains closed. Well, these protesters, Joe, they have no intention of leaving. They're standing in solidarity. They voted. They had a voice vote that they planned to stay. And they want their vo voices heard, and they're very passionate about it. But the problem is it's affecting the auto industry in a very devastating way. And that is why I'm in the Lansing, Michigan area. This General Motors behind me, they've had shift cancellations. Fortunately, they've been able to go back to work today. But who's to say how long that will go on for? with that Ambassador Bridge closed. Canadian courts granting an injunction for protesters blocking the Ambassador Bridge to disperse by 7 Eastern time, or there will be penalties, but protesters say they don't plan to do so. This is the only option Nobody's left. Listening. If we walk away, our freedom's gone, we're done. Our freedom's already gone, and if we give up the white flag, we are done. As long as I'm uh, Biden by the law, I'm on a public uh, sidewalk, um, you know, I'm not impeding traffic in any way. There's not a darn thing they can do because I'm not breaking any laws. The Premier of Ontario declaring a state of emergency today, calling these blockaders an illegal occupation. I urge you, it's time to leave. And it's time to do so peacefully. And if those protesters don't leave, Ontario's Premier Ford has a warning for them. There will be consequences for these actions. And they will be severe. It's been two weeks of blockade, shutting down trade of food, goods, and services between the U.S. and Canada border, wreaking havoc on the auto industry in North America. Whatever their intended stated purposes, this uh, effort is, is going to have, has the potential to have a huge impact on workers and the American public. Facility shutdowns, shift cancellations, and millions of dollars lost every single hour thousands without work and families to feed. Workers and automakers concerned on both sides of the border. They're up and down. Uh, some are getting nervous. Some are understand that this could happen and are planning ahead. GM shuts down because of parts. The other companies will follow. Some auto companies rerouting truckers to other plants. Other automakers strategizing long-term mitigation plans. Suppliers fearing shipping costs and automakers fearing huge penalties on late products. Today, other Canadian leaders and President Joe Biden calling for an end of the blockade. President Biden and I both agree that for the security of people and the economy, these blockades cannot continue. In Canada today, there's been some hope prior to the injunction. Concessions have been made. Protesters opening one lane of traffic in Canada for U.S. vehicles to enter. And Premier Ford says he is working to get rid of COVID regulations very soon. This is a pivotal moment for our nation. The eyes of the world are upon us right now. And what they are seeing is not who we are. It's not what Canada is about. And at the Ambassador Bridge, where all these protesters are, about 100 to 200 of them, police are there, but they're not intervening. Now, the Premier of Ontario, he spoke in a press conference today. He said there will, will be penalties, and they will be severe. In fact, these protesters could see fines of up to $100,000 and one year in jail. Joe. Kelsey, thank you very much. We'll see what develops over the weekend. Appreciate that live report tonight from Lansing. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.